Have you ever wondered what kind of beetle would be a good pet? Well today this is your video. What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Of course you already know we are going to talk about beetles today. Uh, and the beetle species that I actually purchased and uh, managed to get as a pet is the sun beetle. Uh, the sun beetle is from Africa. Um, what they basically do in Africa is they uh, crawl on the ground and they eat all the leaf litter that's there. The fruit that falls from the trees and that rodents. Basically that means that this species of beetles and basically a lot of beetle species uh, they can be kept as kind of cleaners for your enclosure which is pretty nice. Basically you can keep compare them to big springtails I would say. So there's also a lot of people so they keep these with roaches and um, just to clean up a vivarium or something. Of course you gotta look out because most of the time in vivariums or terrariums big lizards can be kept so you don't want those to be eaten. But yeah, that's basically some information about them. Uh, the beetle itself lives around two to four months. Also a special thing about them is that they can fly. Most of the times they won't fly because um, they are kind of lazy in that, if I would say. They're kind of lazy so they don't fly that often. The beetle form can get around two to eight months old. So they can get pretty old as a beetle. The egg form, so they lay eggs when they get pregnant. And the eggs will stay in egg form about two months. So for the substrate that you will be looking for, uh, as you can see I use some leaf litter obviously because they eat that. I also have a piece of cork bark in here, that, which you can see right here. Uh, and I have some cocoa husk I think this is. So cocoa husk will be fine for them. Of Obviously they lay the cocoons, I think it was in the cork bark, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, yeah, the leaf litter is just very nice to, to add. Here you can see two in the back. They often like to uh, go to the ventilation holes, I don't know why they do that. Maybe because the humidity is a bit too high right now. Because I added a lot of cocoa fiber or cocoa husk with a lot of uh, humidity of course. They do need some decent humidity, but not too high, not too low. So these are not desert beetles or uh, heavy rainforest beetles, they are from Africa and it can get pretty hot in Africa but also pretty cold so I'm not really sure where in Africa they come from uh, but it says African forest beetles so they should not come from a place that is very hot I would say. Yeah the food kind of food what I feed them is most of the time fruits so here I have a piece of apple normally they uh, they go to this apple but I think they are kind of camera shy right now there's another one I have six in this enclosure by the way there was another one underneath here but he digged away so yeah these are pretty nice pets I will uh, get a few out so you guys can see them in close-up. Here you have one on my hand he actually managed to poop on my hand while I took him I think he got pretty scared I would say uh, but yeah he's looking pretty nice as you can see just a very nice looking beetle obviously there are quite a lot of beetle species that you can keep uh, in my opinion this is one of the starter species because they are uh, pretty easy to get at your local pet store or maybe at a expo or something obviously at expos they have a lot more species and it doesn't really mean that this is the only easy species to keep but this is one of those and this is I'm pretty sure the easiest species to get so if you want to start breeding beetles I would recommend trying these because these are very nice they look very nice and yeah they don't bite at all they don't be aggressive they are just chill pets that are nice to look at and just a nice uh, adaptation to your uh, insect collection all right so I have these pets for quite a while now I actually didn't yet make a video about them uh, but I was really hyped to uh, just make a video about them I hope you guys like this video obviously uh, Christmas is coming soon um, so I am trying to make a, a pretty cool uh, Christmas video for you guys I actually made a poll on my Instagram asking you guys if you wanted me to make a Christmas video so I think I'm gonna do that pretty sure what I'm very thankful about is all the new subscribers I want to thank all you guys for watching my videos I really appreciate it uh, and I hope we can continue uh, our series of uh, YouTube videos uh, one of my commenters actually commented asking me to make a Dutch YouTube channel uh, I think that's a very good idea because my English is not the best at all. I'm still improving video by video I would say with how I speak in English. But maybe in the future I will also 
make a Dutch YouTube channel, but that's just far away from me. Uh, obviously, because I am very busy with school, I have a lot of things to do. So I don't really have the time for that right now. And I kind of think the quality is better if I focus just on the English uh, channel right now. So yeah, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Please put a thumbs up, turn the notification button on if you haven't, so you already know when my videos are online. If you don't, every Friday at 15.00 CET, Central Euro time. And yeah, please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching.